Welcome. Everyone, welcome. Okay. I want us in the chat box to just you know, type where we're joining from. Where are you joining from? Which part of uh, Nigeria are you joining from? Or if you're not even from Nigeria, let us know. You can drop it in the chat box. Oh, good evening, Rahim. Kind of welcome. I hope you can all hear me. You can as we yes, as we you. join, let's mute our microphones, okay? Okay, just uh, you know, proper housekeeping. Oh, I see Mr. Ayo Deji. Oh, this is Beth. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Beth. But Beth, you don't you don't need to be here actually. It's still the same course, okay? In case you have other things to do, all right? So we're trying to, you know, recruit uh, more teachers, you know, to use uh, FET simulation in their teaching. More wonderful STEM teachers taking out their time, their energy, their resources. Okay, I see Hazan. Hazan here says he's from Lagos State, a chemistry, uh, chemistry teacher. Nice. Chemistry educators. Nice. Okay. Oh, Adel will be from Anambra. Welcome, Adel. Welcome. As we join, please let us mute our microphones as we join. Okay, let us mute our microphones as we join. All right, welcome. It's gonna be an exciting time with you. Don't worry, I won't take much of our time, all right, today, okay? Because uh, I know we're still in the sala celebration and all. So I, mean, I won't take the full two hours, all right? Okay, and uh, all other conversation will continue in uh in the group in the whatsapp group okay welcome i see as you join us let us know where you're you're joining from which part of the country okay i see elijah from ekiti state math teacher nice i see mr okay from abuja a mathematics instructor i see mr jubri from lagos a chemistry teacher oh lovely wonderful wonderful welcome please as we join please mute your microphones and also let us know where you're joining from, okay? Why I go remind everyone present, present, okay? Okay, okay. let me share the link again to everyone on the group. We're gonna have a wonderful time together in this, in this workshop. Okay, it's going to take three weekends, okay? Not three weekends, three Fridays, I mean, all right? So if you're joining us, please uh, let us know where you're joining us. And let us mute our microphones, please. Okay, okay, I see, uh, okay, I see, okay, I see Beth from uh, Johannesburg, Maths and Natural Science. I see uh, Teofilos from Ghana, is a science instructor. I see uh, Oluwatayo from Ogun State, a physics instructor. And I see um, Alfred from Botswana, wonderful from Botswana, biology instructor. I see Aderemi from the state, a chemistry uh, tutor. Okay, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you joining us, joining us on this pet journey. It's going to be, would I say, I don't want, let me not scare you with anyone, but it's going to be a whole um, event, okay? It's going to be a workshop that would catapult your, your STEM teaching career yes, to another level, all right? So welcome. I'm gonna quickly, quickly, because we don't wanna take your time. We're gonna quickly start, okay? So it's going to be recorded. So for anyone that uh, can't join us, have a copy of, quickly, let me see. I see Umar from Lagos State Biology Tutor. I see Nathaniel from Abuja, a maths tutor. I see... 
straight, straight. <laughs> Please, Mr. mute your microphone. As we join, let us mute our microphone, okay? I see Mr. Gabriel uh, in my, from math department from Portacos. That should be a university, I feel. Okay, I see Victor from uh, Niger say, ICT tutor, nice, okay. Nice to have you, ICT tutor, for you will help our STEM educators, you know, get used to uh you know fix up the, the computer lab for for them okay i see uh mr stanley a math tutor okay welcome as you join please kindly mute your microphone as you join okay uh let me see i think i see shola here so i'll make a co-host yes okay Definitely. all right so welcome everyone uh us start now So today's webinar, we are introducing, let me quickly share my screen. If you see my screen, if you can see my screen, let me know, please. Just a thumbs up in the chat box. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Okay. So in today's webinar, we're going to be looking at uh, introduction to STEM and FET interactive simulations. Okay. So hello, can we? Can you hear me? Can you all hear me? So like, if you can hear me, let me know. Yes. Okay, thank you yes. very much. Okay, so yeah, we're starting with introduction yes, to STEM FET. Okay. And okay, so here we have let me quickly introduce our team. Today we have Shola here. Shola is with us today. Uh next week, Rebecca from uh, Rebecca is the director of Global Initiative of FET from University of Colorado Boulder. Okay, she's going to join us on our second uh, session, which is on Friday, next week, Friday. At the upper Friday, Zach is going to join us. It's the FET Ambassador and Lead in Africa. It's in Kenya, Nairobi. Today, I have with me Shola Olateju. He's the FET spe uh, STEM Specialist in Lagos here in Nigeria. And I, myself, okay, I am blessing uh, Sheung Chukuka. Okay, so I, I moved from the west to the east. All right. So, you know, we are all together. We are one Nigeria. All right. So I'm a Fed fellow and the founder of DTW Tutorials. All right. So, and we have other Fed fellows around Africa. All right. And uh, if you check the Fed website, please let's put our microphones when we join. If you check um, the Fed website, you're going to see the details of other Fed fellows. Okay. Now, quickly, just to uh, give you a brief of uh, who is the host of this particular workshop, okay? The host is DTW Foundation, who is the creator of DTW Tutorials, all right? We started as a YouTube channel, all right, an educational YouTube channel, you know, just doing educational videos for students, preparing for JAM, you know, NECO, uh, GCE, and um, BCE for your junior wife with free maths and physics video. I am a STEM person, so I do this video. So to encourage students learn STEM, to fall in love with STEM. Okay, so that's how I started. And I see that they it's not enough just to interface with students. We need to do something that will make them enjoy learning, even in their class, that will make us produce more STEM students. Because whether we like it or not, we need STEM. The foundation on, of every country is STEM. The foundation of every country, I'll say that again, the foundation of every country is STEM education. Look at China, look at the US. It is STEM education. Yes, entertainment is good, yes, to relax and all, but what builds the foundation of every economy is STEM education. Your First, from engineering, the buildings that we have, it's engineering. Our health sector, 
is the sciences. So almost everything, look at the case of COVID. What saved us is the STEM studies, STEM um, uh, experts. So that's why the need for STEM is very critical. And we need to make this, uh, our students want to love it. We need to make them love it, have, you know, affinity for STEM, not run away from it. So that's why STEM, wow. that's why I started this, to wow. expose educators to several digital technologies, okay, that can help them enhance their teaching in STEM, make students love, please let us mute our microphones when we join, to make students love STEM more, okay? So we started with teacher training development. We started since last year, and we've trained over 1,500 STEM teachers, maths and science teachers in Nigeria and all over Africa, and even outside Africa, okay? And several of them have achieved and gotten their FED certificates and are using this in their classroom. And you're going to see some of these, uh, okay, simulations and see how useful it is. So that's what we do at DTW Foundation. So thank you everyone for joining us today. Okay, so quickly, I'm going to go through, we're going to go through the workshop or objective. The first uh, today objective is just to introduce FED simulation, okay? You are going to learn about several ways uh, to uh, use it, okay, in your classroom. It's relevance, all right, reflect on some active learning uh, strategies we can use. Our next um, meeting, which will be next week, Friday, we're going to be looking at activity design. Don't worry, we, that's why we're giving a week. So after this first week, you're going to, by now, let me first ask, has anyone received a mail? from Coursera. Has anyone received a mail, a Coursera mail? Let me see in the chat box. If you have received, yes, I have, good. So good, 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 good. I see, yes, yes. So if you had registered by, I think I downloaded that list at is it yeah. 2, 2 p.m. But don't worry, if you haven't received it, okay, we are gonna resend again. For those who registered late, yes, I have. I'm gonna tell you what to do. Okay, with that, those mails that you received. All right, just give me a few minutes now. All right, so this week we're looking at introduction to FED. So there is uh, an assignment you're going to do on the Coursera platform. Okay, then next week, please make sure. See, don't, don't, let us not leave the work. When you leave it, it starts compounding and you won't be able to finish it. Okay, there's a time frame that we're going to give for you to finish. And it's just two months. Two months from this date, each teacher should have finished up, okay? Because if you don't finish, you won't receive your certificates, all right? You won't receive your certificate and you'll be locked out of Coursera. This course is absolutely free, all right? And it is free Why? when you log in from the emails we send to you. If you go directly to Coursera website, it will charge you $69. So that's why it's important. This email sent to you, is very, very key and important. Don't worry, I'm going to come, into, come to that soon. So these are the objectives uh, for Friday. Don't worry, before we start, I'll read out the objective to you. Then the, the last Friday, which is implementation, also, we're going to also meet to, you know, brief you on how to go about that particular course. Okay, now quickly for the... The emails that you receive. Yes. You should have received something like this. Are you with me? Introduction to FED simulation. Okay. You should have received this. Introduction to FED. Four emails. I hope we can all see it by mail. Introduction to FED simulation. Whole class with FED simulation. Activity design. Implementation. Now, these two, you do it this week. Okay. But if you are fast. Blaze on, you can go into activity design and even finish up, okay? If you want to quickly finish up, all right? But implementation involves you having a classroom. So school should have resumed. I think most schools are resuming uh, when? Uh, from 22nd of the month, okay? That's um, the last, yes, from 22nd of the month, most schools should have resumed. So you can implement it in your classroom because you need evidence before your final certificate is issued to you. So you should have received these mails. It's very important 
that when you go into the mail, you join it from here. Okay? You join it. Click join. And I advise you, do it for all the courses immediately. When you click join here, go here, click join, go here, join. All right? If you haven't have a, 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 an account, when you click join and you don't have an account on Coursera yet, all right, what you do is you register an account with the email. Please, let us mute our microphones. You register with the email that you use for this course. Okay, the email that you, you receive these emails with, register with that email on Coursera. Are you with me? And join. And after you join the first one, you register, come to the rest, click join also. Why is this important? It's because, so you don't go on Coursera, then, because when you start this course, what Coursera will do is, Coursera will start advertising these other courses to you. So when you now join from the, the platform, on Coursera platform, the website, it will start asking you to pay. So please, immediately, this is very key and important. So we do, you don't start having issues of charging. We start asking you money. Immediately today, as we finish the course, come here, join. Come here, join all the courses. Okay? So it's just on your dashboard. So anytime, you can go in and work. Okay? So that's very important, a key thing I just want to uh, say there. So going back to our slides. Please, let's mute our microphones. Please, let's mute our microphones. Sorry. Mm, where's my mouse point? All right. Okay. So very important. Please. Okay, now, our objectives at the end of this section to understand STEM is relevant, appreciate its importance of EdTech in the classroom or to in first century education, locate, interact with first simulation, okay, and implement first simulation with your students, find uh, uh, and uh, find help and support using the first simulation, okay? Now, why I have just said this, that why is STEM so important? Okay, you look here, it says here that 17% of the world's population is in where? It's in Africa. 17% is in Africa, all right? And still we are behind. This is a large amount. And still we are behind when it comes to STEM. What is STEM? We all know is science, technology, engineering, and what, and what, maths, okay? So here, and you know, sometimes we also use team where there's arts in science, okay? Now, so STEM education is a driver for economic performance, which I stated from the beginning. It fosters growth of economies. Why do you think we're having problems here? It's because we are lacking in STEM. Almost everything we're importing, we're not manufacturing, we're not producing. You know, we stay here, we laugh. Oh, toothpick, we import. Biro, we Morning. import. Uh, pencil, we import. And we laugh about it. But it is a serious matter. We should not be importing it. Okay? We can develop STEM so much that students will become innovative and start manufacturing and doing this. Doing this. And it would uh, and it was, make our uh, economy make our better. Economy. Yes. Can we mute our microphones, please? All right. Thank you. So, so important is very what... Uh, is importance cannot be what overemphasized. Now, why do we need to teach and learn with technology? Look at these two pictures. Which is better? Let me see in the chat box. Let me see your reaction, reaction in the ch chat box. Which do you think is better? Can we mute our microphones, please? Which is better? The one with technology. Okay. That is the second uh, one on the television. Good. Technology. Good. Good. So that why? You say it's better. Why? The Anyone one with technology is better. So why? Why? Why is it better? The one with technology is better because it's, uh, you, you can see what you are Any other person? Now. 
a real life uh, concept of what uh, uh, the teacher is teaching. Instructional materials. So we won't be able to teach in abstract. And whatever they see, can never forget it. So technology is better. Okay, nice. The one with technology is better okay. because okay. it is more interactive. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Okay, we can mute our microphones now. We can see here, this is like the traditional method of teaching where we use roads. Okay, we repeat the teacher. It's just the teacher and repeating, repeating, and repeating, and repeating. What's here? It's interactive. It's engaging. Can we mute our microphones? It's interactive. It's engaging. The, the, the students here can question things, and it, it, will interact. And it, will, it will interact. All right? Please, let's mute our microphones. Okay? So, you can see visually it's engaging. And right now, kids are more uh, digitally savvy. So this would, would captivate their interest than you, than we teachers just standing and talking day and night. You just start seeing them sleeping and even removing saliva while sleeping. <laughs> Are you with me? But with this, even the students that you feel is so dull will be so active and will want to engage with this instruction. So that's why teaching with technology is so what good and we need it. Because almost everywhere is technology. There are the kids at home, phones, TV, uh, laptops, tablets, technology everywhere. So we, as educators, we need to imbibe this in our instructions. All right? So it's quite important. That's why we need it. Now, it comes us with FET. What is FET? You know, you've been seeing it, FET, FET, FET. What is it about? Okay? So FET is what? Simply Physics Education Technology. All right. And who founded it? This wonderful man here, Carl uh, Wilman, uh, he founded it in 20, uh, 2002. After he won the 2001 Nobel Prize in Physics, okay, he gave he gave up that money. That's like, I think it's $1 million. He gave it up to this foundation called FET. And I tell you, FET has reached over 1 billion students and educators in science. Do you believe that it has reached over 1 billion students and educators in science all over the world? So it hasn't reached Africa. That's why there's a lot of evangelism of FET now, you know, um, in Africa, trying to, you know, promulgate it here in Africa, making sure educators have this. It is free, free of charge to use. And my colleague here, Shola, will soon join us and take us through a, a, you know, a tour of the website. Shola, are you on standby, please? Is he here? Shola? Are you here? Yes, yes, hi. Okay, yes, okay, sure. quickly in a few minutes, I would, I, uh, he would, I would, you would take over. So what are the goals of, of FET? All right, is to make learning engaging, relevant, accessible, effective, personalized. All right, that's the major goal of, uh, of, uh, uh fed simulations interactive and don't worry we're going to play with so many fed simulations and you see them very soon how engaging how gamified it is how accessible how interactive it is okay so fed simulation make learning stem more like doing stem so it's like doing stem so it's like practical hands-on okay so here i would leave this to shola shola you can take over now let me stop sharing Yeah, hello, thanks, Blessing. <laughs> hello, everyone. Can introduce Good yourself, day. Shola, please. Hi, everyone. Um, that was not my real voice, and that's not my real face. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be with you today. My name is Shola Ola Teju, of course, um, colleagues with Blessing, and um, I work with the FET Interactive Simulation Project at the University of Colorado Boulder which creates these amazing resources that you're going to interact with in a bit to support the teaching and learning of math and science. Um, but most importantly, why you are super important in all of this conversation is, it is possible like, you know, um, if like there's a popular saying, if, if, if the use of a tool is unknown, uh, abusing is inevitable. Um, we understand that it's it's possible to have great tools, but 
not understanding the most effective strategies to get value out of them might limit or restrict the, the, how much it transforms your class. So credits to Blessing, who is taking time out to, of course, take you on this four weeks, Saturday meetings or, or journey to help you understand and um, get to know how to use the tool, but most importantly, strategies to effectively deploy and use in the classroom. So excited to have you on board and um, thank you for making time out. Um, blessing, I'm meant to do a demo, right? Yes, yes, please. On the third call, okay. please. Thank you. Okay. Um, we always try to respect everyone's time. So I'll just take a deep dive right away. Um, so this is the main website. And um, if you can see the address bar, it's phet, which is which is FET, phet.colorado.edu, phet.colorado.edu. Once you type that into the address bar on your phone or computer, it takes you to this website. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's interactive simulation for math and science, which you're going to explore before the end of this meeting and then subsequent meetings. <clears throat> so these resources are categorized into five main blocks. So you'd find resources for math, resources for chemistry, resources for uh, mathematics, earth science or geography and astronomy, like we might call it here. <clears throat> and then biology. Just a second, let me clear my throat a bit. I'm, I'm sounding funny. Yeah, so thank you. Um, there, there's a whole lot to discover, but we'll just add, the more you interact with the tool and site, the more you would uncover a whole lot more. So there's an active community of teachers as well, where teachers create activities that you can adapt and, of course, repurpose for your classroom. But you can also create resources and then contribute so that teachers, perhaps, that use this, that is working towards the same objective in Africa or within your district or school, can also take advantage of what you've created once you send it back into that teacher community. At the moment, there are up to 161 simulations for different subject panels or groups or different learning objectives. Um, we we'll explore that in a bit, so that will become clearer. And all of this is available in more than 120 languages, which includes Aousa, Igbo, and Yoruba. So just think of um, learners in rather rural communities in, that, 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 that do not speak English effectively. Or fluently, um, we, the goal all idea is language should not be a barrier. So it's been translated so that irrespective of um, their first language or language that they're most comfortable with, they can continue to learn and explore science. And then just like I mentioned, there are tons of teacher contributed resources in there, which I invite you to explore and then also contribute to. So that is all about the introdu introducing the site. Um, I'll just take a deep dive now. So again, to visit the website, it's phetfet.colorado.edu. And once you open that, it brings you to this page. What you need to pay attention to getting started is you can either come to simulations at the top right corner of the screen, and you will see the options, the drop down menu that allows you to see all of the sims that are available, or you can choose the sims that are of course, that are related to physics, all the physics simulations, you can choose by subject. And you can also see the translated scene. We'll come to that in a bit. You can go there or just click on explore our scenes in the middle of the screen or all simulations at the top right corner, with the menu at the top right corner. I'll click on all scenes so that we get a chance to see the scenes. I will just perhaps look at one and I'll hand it back to Blessing to take us further. Once you visit the website and you go to the top menu, you select all scenes, you're going to see an array of resources that teaches different subjects or different concepts. Um, we'll open one in a bit just to explain further. There are two things now that I've shown, the link to the website, fed.colorado.edu, and um, finding the simulations that you need. So it's more all same, so you can choose by the subject you teach. Once you get on the simulations page, you have the option to also dig further. So if for physics, you can find which of them are related to sound and waves. If I click on sound and waves, 
it's going to sort the screen and I can then see, oh, this this will teach the concept of my objectives around that domain, that subdomain. I can also um, select further and find the one around work energy and power, heat and thermodynamics and all of that. So you have the option to choose by subject or the subtopics within each of those subjects. And that applies for all the other subjects, physics, chemistry, biology, math, and and bio and, and earth science or geography. You can also sort by grade level. One thing to pay attention to is the project started within the university, but if that seems grow to support students across the grade level, science is universal, it's the same. Um, the objective might be different, but understanding energy is pretty much the same. Only the variables and parameters will change the higher you go. So you'd find the same can teach objectives as low as elementary school and then can go as complex and as high and is suitable for students in the IR institution. There are cases where if those gap or the differences is really wide, then you'll see like a basic version for a scene. Let me see if I find one on the screen now. You'd see a scene that has, oh, for example, gravity force lab basic. So you find, you see a basic version, mass and spring basic. So it means, oh, it's been cut, it's it's been split so that one is very, very basic for those just getting started, perhaps elementary and um, middle school, uh, which is um, our primary and junior high school, junior secondary school. And then for perhaps senior secondary and university, there's a fuller version that has all of the variables that are at play. So you can sort by subject, you can sort by grade level, the next is by compatibility. Um, at the moment, I would say you just focus on HTML5. Flash, Java, and cheaper J are more old technology, and the seams are currently being redesigned to be suitable so that irrespective of the digital device that you have, it's easy to use them. So all of the ones you see on the screen currently are, are in HTML5. So it runs easily and smoothly. You do not need to install. You just need a browser on your phone or computer you can save to use this offline. So it runs effectively offline. You do not need the internet. Once you save and put on the pen drive or your, or your USB stick or you just put on your computer, anytime you are ready to use, you can continue to use and explore, explore that. Um, release types, um, we can, you can ignore that for now. That's more where it's coming from. As, as educators, you really do not need that. What I would say is prototypes are more newly designed themes that have not, that is collecting feedback from the community. So a few things might change before it becomes final. Inclusive features also is something that is nice to know, but does not directly affect you at this stage of the journey. But this is more helping students with um, special needs who have extra learning re um, requirements or need. So they have the option to listen to all so descriptive highlights. They can listen to all of the interactions you carry out. They can hear what is happening they, once they move. So it provides all of these features that help students who cannot see, use their hairs or other senses to understand and then still use the scene. And finally is the locale option. You recall I mentioned that the resources are available in 120, more than 120 languages. If I scroll further down, let's see which of them. I think Ebo is here. Once I switch to Ebo, I need to, yeah. So we can see like now the texts are all in Ebo for the themes. I can do the same for, there's AUSA as well. There's HGH. Uh, yeah, there you go. I also, also, just like I mentioned, and all of this is, of course, made possible um, with the help of amazing teachers like you and translators who use them in their class, contribute, translate, and then make it available for other teachers, and there's Yoruba as well. So irrespective of the language that you teach, I know many of us might be in the city, but if, you, if yourself or teachers within your network would find teaching or, of course, would, would find it beneficial for their students to explore the resources in other languages other than English, then please feel free to 
use what works best for them. And that that's the whole idea, irrespective of the needs of the student, um, whether language or visual impairment or, or, or audio needs, and then there's something to support everyone. So that's it about this. I think at the moment you are almost ready to go. So now you know how to visit the website, you know where to find the sims you need. And um, one of my favorite um, sims is, I would say, I think geo not geometric optics. Um, just a second, let's see, I'll do gravity and orbit. So now I think I'll do two, just for one for early learners, um, number play, and then gravity and orbit. And you can find a whole lot more for electricity where they can, of course, without burning cables and candles. This is for chemistry. And um, I was looking for a number play. Yeah, I think what we have now is fine if I... Okay, I'll just make it 10, make it 10, make it 10, make it 10. I'll use make it 10. So once you choose a scene, another important page as educators that you will find very useful is, yeah, thanks for dropping the link in the chat. You can see the link in the chat. I also encourage that you follow along. So if you're on your phone or PC, please just visit the site and then click along um, as I'm doing it, once you can see what's happening. So I've gone to the website, I've, I've found the scene that I want to use and I am on a single scene page. I'm not seeing all of the other scenes. So I can click on the play button to use the scene. But before that, as teachers, you want to of course plan your lesson. So I can see what topic does this teach? It teaches the place value, addition, subtraction, and arithmetic. I can see sample learning goals to just help me either develop mine, adapt mine, or just see, oh, does this teach some of the things I want to? Um, the standards and alignment here um, is it does not directly it's not it's not mapped out this way for the Nigerian curriculum. But that if you find some of the resources um, activities that have been created by teachers or mapping, you'd find some of those alignment. But the Common Core is more like a global or the US based um, curriculum curriculum alignment. But yeah, if it's useful, then please use them. And this is the system requirement. All you require is just your computer and a browser. Can we see one scene so we can see definitely? Um, yeah, we're seeing that in a bit. I just wanted to show you how to go about it. Um, and Blessing will go in depth into exploring scene specific details after my, after you understand how, you, how to find your way and navigate the website. So you can find information about the scene. You can find teaching resources. Teaching resources are more guides for teachers so there's a teacher information sheet um yeah so that clicked already so just a second um this is opening up oh so sorry um sim means simulation for short so I, i've just called that and it, i've just shot in that simulation sim pretty much the same so this is what it looks like. Let's just take a dive in, then I'll come back to just talking about a few more details around the map. So for example, if students are trying to add, they typically would write one by one and you teach them different methods to, um, to add either the table, 100 tenths and unit table or the count, the strokes, and then and then add it up. Um, for, but in this case, you can just give a student a challenge. Um, there's 10 here. We can break 10 apart by taking one off so it becomes nine, nine and one. So remember, we had ten on the screen. So, so ten pieces. I can begin to take one off it. I'm still playing with ten, but students begin to see different possibilities. So one plus one plus one plus two is is still ten. The screen is blank. Do you see my screen blessing? Yes, I do, Shola. I do. We say screen is blank. Let me see. It's not. It's not blank. If you can okay. see Shola's so screen, just give it. a thumbs up. Let's see. Okay, someone okay. say it's not. Okay. So let's go, let's go ahead then. So yeah, just like I mentioned, different options. So you can then tell students to see what different ways, what what are the ways they can 
what can 10 be broken into? How can they add 10 up? So one plus one plus one is three. Two plus, I can drag the two together. Two plus three is five. And it just gives them different ways to play around numbers. So which is why this is called number play. And they then combine, you can then set different challenges. So it's, as against having a very scripted way, we can challenge them to explore and they can they can then see all that's possible. Same thing with 10, which we already did. And they can do the same with 100. We can do the same thing for addition. And then there's also, there are also games built into some of these tools where two plus four, they can put it together to see the answer as six, or they just guess what that is. One plus five is still six. It just deepens or give them like mental models to deeply understand how numbers play or interact with each other. Another one is energy forms and changes. So even when you have labs, some of these things are almost difficult um, to achieve because they are um, micro-scientific concepts, things that happen perhaps in the at the micro level. So this is more around heat transfer, but I wanted to show quickly the energy systems so that, that helps them see how energy is converted as well. In this case, I see also E is the chemical energy. So the, the student on the bike has eating, so has E in his tummy, lots of food. But when he rides the bicycle and just in a single step, they can begin to see why people get tired. When riding bicycle, of course, the chemical energy is converted to mechanical energy because the bicycle is co connected to a turbine. And this can be different ways to, to, to create energy. If you notice that there's thermal energy as well, the kid is getting displacing energy through it and the turbine is converting the energy to electrical. So in just a single, in a single class, you can explain all of this concept and students can make sense. Of course, this is, it's depleted now. Um, the, the, the kid is hungry, so you need to feed again and that's why they eat all the time. So just different combinations. You can, you can tell students to explain what the energy journey is and they can then find ways to find all the connections and understand how what, what the difference between thermal and all of this other thing is. And there are other options. I can look at the solar. I can see that this energy source, which is solar, does not work with the turbine. So I need to find the, the proper energy converter. Uh, Shola, please don't. Uh, I want them to play around this themselves. You're already giving them expo enough. Huh? OK. OK. OK, please. I so want them I'll, to I'll play around. this back then. So that's, that's fine, which is, yeah. So thank, thanks for flagging that. Thanks for, for letting, letting me know. Um, I was just responding to one of the questions in the chat. So someone in says, no audio, is it the same or me? I think uh, they have to check. Please do check your sound uh, setting because I can hear him clearly. If you can hear him clearly, let me see a thumbs up in the chat box. See, people okay, so great. Check your your sound setting. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I think I think I think that's that's what I wanted to explain. Um, now you understand how to find the resources, how to find information about it. Of course, the sample learning objectives, and then just like I mentioned, this is a teacher tip, like information sheet for teachers, where you can find out how all of this works, and for students, they can't they don't have access to this because you need to create a teacher account to access this as well as explainer videos that helps you better understand how to use them or some of the um how some of the features within the sim work so this easily explain that and you can find other information in there and the last thing is more activities for teachers like i mentioned you'd find teachers from across the world create activities and they then contribute so if you want to use any of the sim one good place is to check the activities page what activities have been created that supports my objective? How can I adapt or repurpose? And if you think there's something you need that's not there, you can also contribute back to the community and teachers anywhere will find that useful for their classrooms. Um, so don't worry if this feels like a lot already. Um, I think it's, well, of course, we'll be together for the next four weeks. So um, just taking one step at a time, ask all the questions within the WhatsApp community. 
um, if you need any help at any point on the journey. But yeah, as much as possible, um, make the most of it. And yeah, Blessing will explain how to register and get other resources for as other educator resources along the way. So I'll hand it over to Blessing now. I know we're pressed for time and I'll just let it let her take it away from here. Okay. All right. So welcome back. Thank you so much, Shola. Okay. Thank you so much for uh, for this. Where we register. Yes, I'm going to come to that. Okay. Where you register as a teacher. All right. So to, as I said, let me quickly share my screen. Okay. As Shola said, to, can you see? Wait. Share it. Can we all see my screen? Shola, can you see my screen? Yes. 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 We see your okay. screen. All right. So. As he said, as Shola said, to assess some of these things, like let's say we come to physics, uh, we want to pick a simulation. Let's say I want to pick this simulation and play with it. Uh, sorry, I'm a, I'm a physics math person, so I'll go with physics. Him. Okay, so let's say we, you, as a teacher now, you want to teach with this simulation. Okay, there are some teaching resources that you can't assess. Like when you come here, all right, this you can't assess until you sign in. So you need to have an account. All right, you need to register. Okay, why does why do Fed need you to register? So when they have your email, you know they can send you several resources when you simulations. Uh, uh, you know, published on the Fed's website, they would send you that, you know, send you tips. You know, we have uh, webinars we do, you know, where we call experts, uh, educational experts from the industry. We send you all those notifications, all right? So that's why we need this, your contact details, you know, and also ask you feedback. I think sometime last year, there was a survey on what simulation do you need? You know, there was like a competition, you know, so much I said, we need this, you know, because this is an NGO. So there's a budget and to better use the budget is to better to check each teacher's pressing needs in which particular area, uh, subject or topic that they need simulations to be developed. It costs millions. It costs a whole lot of people. You will see the team. Okay. Fed Global, it costs a whole lot of people to build one simulation. It takes instructional, educational instructors have to be, uh, have to be uh, uh, on the team. Programmers, even professors have to be on the team of whichever simulation that is being uh, built, that's programmed. All right, so it takes a lot of money. So we need your feedback. That's why we need it to register. So you need to just, when you come here, like I am registered, so... Hold on, I think it should bring uh, should bring up my so you need to sign it to register. You come here, you click register, or okay, let me just sign in here. So you see that whenever you sign in, it gives you access to the document. Okay, maybe later you can support when you have. All right, so you see it gives you access to the document. Do you see that you can download it freely on your system? You know, we encourage, we know that internet is a, a major barrier, especially in Africa, also all over the world, but, you know, we have internet problems. So you can always download and use it offline. Fed simulations, all of them, you can always download and use offline. So as a teacher to register, just come here, this little icon of, you know, a human, you come click on it and, you know, it will tell you register. All right, I'm gonna share a video. Okay, there's a particular part in your registration that maybe when you type in the name of your school, you won't see. It. There's something you have to do to bypass that. I have done a short video explaining how to register. I will share it immediately after this workshop. Okay? So please be patient with me. Okay? So, as I said, you can easily download this, okay, a day after class, a day before class, and take it, download on your laptop, and it will work online without the internet. On the kids' tablets, they can download and it will work, work offline, I mean, without the internet. So you come here, you click on play, and I'll just quickly go through the simulation, you know, just to uh, just to show you how it works, how interesting it is. So it's intro. All right, so for instance here, 
this is uh, a circuit construction kit. Okay, you can use this for my physics educators. Let me see a thumbs up for my physics educators. Are we here? Because when I was reading the introduction, just, it was just only maths and chemistry and biology. Physics educators, let me see a thumbs up. Are you here? Are you here? Ah, just one person. Okay, 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 okay. Come up, come up. Okay. So for my physics, don't worry, chemistry, we are going to. Any need? No. For students, no. No need for student account. Okay. Just only teachers. All right. So let's say we want to build a circuit here. We can build a parallel circuit here. All right. So kids can play with this. Before you get into the hall, if you want to teach series circuits, parallel circuits, and all that. Kids can do what? Please, let me join this together. Join this together. Uh, let us power it. So, you know, even on teach them just uh, what, what an electric circuit is about. A simple one. What is made up of our source? Let me just put this here. Put this here. Can you see this? Okay. Can you see how interactive this is? All right. When you add another bulb, something happens. So this how you can you can use this to explain. You and you can tell them, you can see here the brightness of for my physics people, the brightness of this bulb is the same as this. But let's say we now construct a, a uh, this is parallel. Construct we construct a series here. minutes uh, I think let me just do, do this do this okay so you can see this you can easily use this simulation to explain you know in our physics when we come to electricity the students are always confused on elect uh, series and parallel circuits there's always that confusion why that formula you know they just cram that formula one over r r plus r why why that formula this can explain why is it that the voltage in a parallel circuit is the same? And this you can use to explain to them that, okay, look, you know, you can bring it to, that's what we call project base, you know, bring it into real life. What you cannot ask them, what do you think, what connection? You know, when we teach, if we try to bring them home, bring it to what they see, they take it in. You cannot ask them in your house, what do you think, which of the connection do you think? Is it is it parallel or, or series? You know, it will make them think well, think hard. And most of them say, ah, the light, is, this is bright. It is bright. It's the same thing. Oh, and you notice that you will come here again, add another bulb. It dims again. You ask them, does the light in your house do that uh, behave that way? When you put, let's say you put on the, the light in your kitchen, put on the light in your toilet, you put on the light in your room. Does anything, does it dim? Is it the same? They'll say, ah, teacher, it is the same thing. Then you ask them, so which of which of the, what, what connection does uh, buildings use? Then I say, ah, teacher, it's the parallel, what connection? So with this, you can easily teach them. And they can easily build an electric board with this. So this is, the essence, this is the beauty of this FED simulation, and it is free. But we don't know yet. Most uh, instructors, most, uh, you know, don't know yet in Africa. Are you with me? So at least I think I've answered someone as, as someone, all simulation. Yes. Okay, 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 Shola, you're answering. Okay, good. Okay. All right. Thank you, Shola. All right. So this is just one simulation. Immediately you're doing something that is interactive. So you can imagine, you we are excited as adults. So talk less of your students. What do you imagine will happen in that class? They will love science and want to come to class. They will want to experiment. They will go home and start tracing the wire. They will even want to go and touch their distribution board. But <laughs> I'm sure their mother and father will say, La, yo, <laughs> so that their, their, their kids will not be electrocuted. But they will want to, it will, it will spark something, you know, Curiosity that leads to experimentation. Then we want to do something just through this. So that's why we are trying to get teachers to come on board and use this. It's free, totally free of charge. So this is one, 
own experiment. Don't worry, we're going to look at others. But let's quickly go back to our, our slide. What's the time? Oh, I have 30 minutes more with you. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna rush through. So benefits, what are the benefits? As you know, I've just explained with that with 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 the simulation benefits of of pet simulation, isn't it? Constant visual dynamic learning of scientific concepts. Okay, it aids learning through you know it, you you reduce your cognitive load. You don't need to, we don't need to be cramming and cramming and cramming. Once there's understanding, once it sinks in through this digital practical, it's easy. They will know why the formula is that. Anyway, wake up, wake them up from their sleep. They will know why the formula is that. It can help with self, self assessment, provide real time feedback. You can see this as as they do work on it. They are seeing the feedback. Okay, there's. I think I went to um, I went to train some teachers, and I thought there were you know there's one called activity sheet designs. I gave them and to follow follow through the activity sheet. You will come to that. That's the next. Uh, Friday, and some of the teachers burnt their bobs. So <laughs> you see, please, Mr. Uh, Jackson, hear me. Please stop writing on the screen. Edjo, hear me, Edjo. Stop writing on the screen. Oh, it's showing. All right. So please, I have to close and wait. Let me stop sharing and share again. So it plays. Okay, that's clear. All right, so it's reinforcement benefits supports multiple representation, spacing and self-directed learning, and you know students don't feel so much guidance. You know, you know, like in class, the teacher has to be for. Mm -mm. Okay, it's, it's enhances student agency. They learn by themselves. Collaboration is is you know is fostered among them among their peers, all right? So SIMS are specifically designed to support students in constructing a robust conceptual understanding of math and science topics through exploration. They explore, okay? And one thing the first simulation focus, focuses in on is those fundamental concepts, helping students get it, all right? And there's evidence, there are several evidence from researchers of increased learning, okay? When Finkenstein used this, Okay, he set up a student, you can see this, a student with real practical experience, took them to the lab. And another student, first of all, he gave them the, he put them through the simulation first. There was a notice, according to his report, all right, and uh, exam, all right. The people who, first of all, started up with the simulation, when they took them to the lab, they easily connected those those um, um the connection this circuit connection without even without no much um, guidance from their teachers, but those that were ex just only exposed to the physical equipment they took so much time to find their way around it. So you can see the benefit. It's what increased what learning. Another one again. This is another uh uh evidence research from Perkins. Okay, a greater student, a greater percentage of students answer conceptual co uh, questions correctly when a sim is used in, in demo versus physical equipment. We are not saying that FET simulation is here to take over our lab work. No, FET simulation is here to complement it. You will see that in the simulation, just like your, for your chemistry, your titration, acid, base, and salt, you know, they can break all the old bottles do all the audit, uh, you know, everything in the simulation. So they are not scared. <laughs> I remember my time of school, like how many years over, how many decades ago, you know, when you get into the lab, ha, ha, ha. you know, <laughs> my, my teacher, you know what I'm talking about now. Almost every student is like scared. Let me not break something. You know, how much will my parents pay? Hey, my parents will kill me. You know, they are scared. But the simulation, you can break, you can burn, you can burn bulbs, you can do anything on the simulation. Okay. And it also helps them. It increases what learning. Greater percentage of them were able to what answer conceptual questions even more than those that were just given physical equipment. All right. Increase another evidence is what you have increased engagement. The students want to engage more. 
all right you can see this and we always emphasize on something known as exploration anyway i'm going to take you through one you're going to explore the first simulation some simulations and tell me what you know what you wonder all right so here uh so evidence of new uh, classroom norms when using uh sim sim lessons you explore new ideas you invent strategy you share your ideas but when you have a, a class that is you know not without simulation what you just do is just practicing standard procedures you are not trying to explore new things what you do is recalling you are just helping the students recall you are just applying rules you are not letting them test the hypothesis you know come up with hypothesis test it okay so this we need to see more lessons all right that's where flex simulation comes in it is flexible you can use it to lecture in class you can use it as a free lab activity lab you can use it distant learning don't worry we're going to go through this when we're talking of whole class inquiry you can see this the same design is very adaptable you can adapt it to your class it's interactive you know uh, pedag uh, pedagogically powerful actions are there all right you have some beautiful actions good interface all right and uh the simulation if you notice when you open like when we open that um uh circuit dc you can see you have uh zip intro and lab so there is like a you first of all do the intro before you go to the lab you know you as a teacher before you start teaching with the simulation you must have gone through it that's where the first website is for you and you have to register on it okay so yeah so the sim supports multiple learning goals you know your concepts you know exploration uh, col uh, uh collaboration like I, I i mentioned lab techniques you can teach that on the simulation before they go into the lab quantitative problem solving it's enjoyable it's understandable okay it's gamified and very interactive all right so and see we have several of them all right several simulations that can help us here so sim based learning is more of your fed sim your activity design and teacher facilitation we are coming to activity design is one thing selecting a, a, a simulation which is the first part of this course. You are selecting a simulation and you are going to do like a whole class, uh, go through whole class inquiry uh, 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 procedure, okay? So here, selecting a first thing is all based on your goals. You know the topic you want to teach. You go to, you come here. Please, let's mute our microphone. Uh, let me... Sayemi Jackson, please mute your microphone. Okay, so you come here. I say we go to all sims. Sorry. Oh, wow, why is this so slow like this? Sayemi Jackson, please, can you mute your microphone? <coughs> Sayemi Jackson. Okay, so here, we are here. All right. So here, you can now come and select. I'm sorry, let me quickly. Uh, Shola, are you, are, you, are you here? If you can help me mute. Mute, um, um, mute the person in the background, please. Thank you. All right, so here. So you can come, you can select, all right, whichever topic it is. Okay, let's say you want to do, let me come to chemistry since I've done something in, uh, 
So let's say we have something density gases. All right, yes, gases, gas properties. Okay, let me click on gas properties. All right. So you know the topic you want to teach. All right. And if it will align to your goals, you know the goals of your class, the objectives. All right. You can see that this simulation and the FET, the FET website has really, really helped you. This, this is the topics that these simulations can teach well. Can you see that? Diffusion, kinetic molecular gas, ID gas law. And these are the sample learning goals. I've already given you some learning goals that you can pick from here. Okay? So this is how you go to select your own simulation. All right? You have to go play around yourself and to select the simulation that you would use. There's also math simulation. Don't worry, I'm going to also go touch on math simulation. So you first of all have your first sim, then your activity design, which is what we're talking on, on next week, all right? So your first sim, trying to do like a whole class inquiry, okay, pedagogy, then you as a teacher to facilitate. So that is what we, know, we call sim-based learning, okay? So uh, quickly, I will just say this, that teaching with first Seems you need to uh, uh, employ some FET pedagogy. And some of this pedagogy include your whole class inquiry, which I've just spoke on, which is what you're going to do this week. Okay, you're going to do intro. Intro to FET simulation is you helping you on the Coursera, is you helping you navigate the Coursera and uh, FET website. You trying to select a sim. In that sim, bringing out your learning, you know, uh, trying to get your learning, their, their techniques to get learning goals, you're going to go through that and do that and submit and also go through the whole class inquiry and also submit that. So that will be your work for this week. Why next week we're looking at activity design. So for the first simulation, it brings together, instead of it to be more teacher control, more student control, it solidifies both. Okay. It brings together teachers and students. So not all teacher control, not all student control. The teachers still facilitate, but not like controls, controls. It's just a teacher's um, role there is like a scaffold, scaffold, just providing scaffold for, for the students to walk through the exploration and explore themselves. So that's uh, what FED simulation does. And we use some particular uh, pedagogies like the whole class inquiry, interactive lecture demonstration and concept question uh, pedagogies, which you're going to see on the Coursera course. So quickly, I want us to, um, I'm going to share the link now to, where is this? Let me share the link to this simulation. Going to share the link now. I want us to quickly open up this. Please, can we have the slides where we can? Oh, we will discuss about that. All right, please, the link to download the simulation. Now, please, I'm going to share a link now. Okay. I've shared a link now on this simulation. I want us to open it on our phones. You can operate it on your phones, not just your laptops. That's the beauty of first simulation, easily operate on your phones. So I want us to open this simulation. That's your energy forms and changes simulation. Let me also open up. So that's what we're going to go through. We're going to go through that, go through quadratic and uh, which other one, build an atom for our chemistry, chemistry then for maths, okay? So this is how you, okay, let me quickly go back. All right, so when you when you click on the link, all right, is everyone with me? If you have opened it, let me see a thumbs up in the chat box. If you have opened a simulation, let me see a thumbs up. Okay, just one person, Victor, thank you. James, thank you. Good, good, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so you can also watch my screen. So. When you open, uh, click on it, we take you here, then click on start, all right, on your phone, all right? I think it's a system, 
go to systems. <clears throat> go to systems, not the intro. I want you to go to systems. Okay, go to systems and I want you to play around the simulation. What do you wonder? What do you observe about the situation? About the simulation. Okay? And best of all, what learning goals? What can you teach? What topics? You know, we're going to look at it like a student and also like an educator. Like a student, what do you wonder? Like an educator, what topics can you teach? What learning goals, okay, can you bring out from this simulation? I want to see your response on the chat box. And maybe two people, I'll give you just three minutes, then two people would speak. So we move forward to the next simulation. Okay, Adenike says friction. Ah, uh -huh. so what learning goals? What can you bring out? Just go through it, change it. You know, there's play around with it. I'm not going to play around with it. There are so many kids that don't, be, you know, one thing you should also encourage your students is it's a simulation. Nothing is going to get bad. You know, some people have, we have, I think it's Africa, we have phobia of when we spoil something. And maybe it's because they used to hit us or beat us when we spoil things. So we are scared to, to touch things. <laughs> and, you know, it kills exploration in a way. Are you with me? Okay. But here on the simulation, you can touch things. You can play around with things. Nothing would happen. Okay. The highest you restart the simulation. So that's what you should also encourage uh, the teacher, uh, your students also. I'm just giving two minutes. Okay, Gabriel, just hold on. Let others come along first. Two minutes. Okay, okay, I think two minutes done, all right. It says, how do we feel? Feed, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to say that. Okay, try it. Try and look for how you will feed her back. <laughs> it says, uh, let, let me go. Okay, energy transfer, energy conversion, energy change is good. Energy conversion, energy can be recycled, converted from one form to another. All right, energy can... Mine is just a question, please. Okay, what's your question, Gabriel? We can teach energy learning goals. Describe how energy is, yes, how energy changes from one form to another. Different energy utilization, temperature, good. What a generator is, energy changes. All right. So wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so you can see here. She's here. Riding, riding. Okay, and what do you observe? Generator heating up what? A coil here, all right, and heating up the water, all right? Are you with me? She says, feed me, you feed her. And start again. Do you see that, Mr. Victor? So it's just all about playing. I'm sure if it were the kids, then we know the simulation, even more, even things that you have not discovered about the simulation, they will get it for you. Are you with me? So as teachers, let us try to, okay, play around, know our simulations before we get into the class and uh, guide our students, all right? It's like I opened a different link, also evaporate. Good. So there are a lot of things that you can use this simulation to. You can change it. Can you see that? Change this, all right, to a bulb. Change this to sun. All right, this is the sun. Yeah, sun. Okay. Do you see that? It brightens up. It's a solar panel. So you can teach them even how, you know, different types of 
ways energy or electricity can be generated. All right. So here, if I put more clouds, you can see it, the rays of the sun doesn't get to the panel and there's no light. All right. I remove some clouds. You can see here, there's light here. I remove all the clouds, more energy. Do we see that? Okay. So different, there's poor connection here. Okay. How clouds affect the solar system. Nice sources of energy. You can use this to teach. Good job. Good job, everyone. All right. So here, let us go through this simulation. I will put it now. Uh, what should we do first? Okay, let's do build an atom. Let me let me send this on the chat box. Okay. I think I should also share all these links on the WhatsApp group. I'll drop it on the WhatsApp group now. This is the WhatsApp group, okay. Yeah, share it on the WhatsApp group. So let us open this simulation, build an atom. Has everyone seen the link? If you have, okay. Okay, yes, ma'am. But before we go, I want two people to speak on the first simulation. That's the energy changes, energy form and changes. Anyone that want to speak on it? Let me, you can raise your hands and I and uh, unmute yourself. Anyone? Can raise your hands or mute yourself. You want to speak on the energy uh, change simulation, what you can teach, ways you can use it to teach. Okay, Sadiq, you can speak. Sadiq, you can speak. You can mute yourself and speak. Too. Okay, so if you can't speak yet, uh, Ade Damola, you can unmute and speak. I see you raised your hands. You can unmute and speak, Ade Damola. Can you hear me? Okay, let me just ask you. Unmute. You can unmute. Ask to unmute. Okay, hello. Good afternoon, man. Yes, good afternoon, Mr. Sodik. Yes. All right. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity to um actually gain knowledge about this. Um, I was looking at it and I was smiling. The first thing I was thinking about, you know, um, in for us to do this one physically, the amount of money that we are going to spend in terms of resources, um, for each um uh, equipment or for each experiment, yeah. um, is going to be much much more than when learning this simulation. And at the end of the day, we might even be doing it wrongly. But um, teaching the student uh, via this simulation process, number one, is going to even help the teacher because it's going to assist the teacher in learning more about it. And as kids of nowadays, these kids are very, very like, let me say, they have this super knowledge regarding anything that has to do with computer. They might even have more knowledge about it, more than the teacher that is even teaching itself. So for us to like teach them everything, it's very simple and straightforward and it's very clear to understand. So that's what I have to say about it. Thank you very much, Ma. Yeah, well done, well done. Okay, uh, thank you so much for your feedback. Ate Damola, I think you can unmute and speak. Okay, good evening. Thank you very much for this um, platform. And I want to say it's a very good one. It's a very good one. And it's very easy to understand. I, I even went ahead to do the solar panel stuff. And in fact, I was very impressed. And I think it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Okay. Um, uh, Mansa from Ghana. Mansa, you can unmute and speak. Okay, if you can't speak, uh, Mr. Gabriel, you can unmute and speak. Can you unmute yourself now? 
Uh -huh. Yes. Mr. Gabriel, yeah. Yes, good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for this wonderful uh, experience. Okay. The challenge I'm having with this, at least uh, I've gotten to know more about what FED is all about. I think about two, three months ago, there's a particular competition we did in my school. They call it ISTEM. So in the process, I noticed that this is part of what they kind of, they were expected to do. But the greatest challenge I had then was to be able to navigate through the environment. So my question now is, is there any particular box or link that for educators, when we get a particular scene, it, it will help us to understand the whole navigation so of that course. it will not be trying an error? For the of users. course. Of course. Let me quickly show you this. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you that. Okay. Let me quickly go back. Hold on. Okay. Thank you. That's my question. So come here. When you come to teaching resources, look at this. In this teacher tips, it shows everything in details, what, what happens. Can you see this? Can you see this, Gabriel? Hello? I hope you can all see this. All right? Okay? So it shows everything in details here, what everything does. And here also, activities. When you come to activities, all right? It shows, it shows, please, okay, mute now so we don't mute everyone. If if you're not speaking, you can mute your microphones, okay? Mr. Paul, all right? So when you come to activities, so every resource is always beneath the simulation you are picking. When you just, okay, click on the simulation, it brings you here, it brings you on all the resources, the teaching resource, the activities. These activities are things that people from all over the world have done. Okay, that's what we call, uh, you, you can submit because, I, I, like I've said, I've trained like over 1,500 uh, STEM teachers. So I always encourage them to put up their activity design on the website so that Nigerian teachers can have access. You know, if it is if it's our own, it is, uh, we use the NERDC -E curriculum. Okay, so we can easily use another person's own. All right, so here are teachers all over the world that have used this simulation to create activities. And when you click on them, let's say this, okay, he, who is this? Let me see if there's anyone in Nigeria here. There's a, a lot. Okay, let's say, uh, okay, look at this person, middle school, it's, the energy transfer. When you click here, so she has a, a PowerPoint a slide here. When you click on it, it will, she she has this is what she has done. She used for her own class. Are you with me? So you can get ideas from what she did. Okay. So this is how you go through other resources that people have done. Okay. So under each simulation, there's teaching resource, there's activities, which you can browse to something similar to what you want to do. You look for something similar to what you want to do and walk from there. All right, so that's how, I hope Mr. Gabriel, did you get that? Yes, thank you much, God bless you. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so I think uh, let's move forward because of time. I want us to quickly, um, build an atom. Let us play around with this simulation. I have dropped, have I dropped the, the link? I have dropped the link in the chat box, right? Build an atom. Yes, you have. Okay, okay. Yes. So please open up build an atom. Let us explore that now. Let us explore build an atom. What do you think you can teach with this? My chemistry people, you know, you put a much here. So I give you the floor. Explore. Explore this wonderful simulation that can help you. I, I won't start saying the topics. I'm sure if some of you know the topics, I'm sure my chemistry people already, you already started counting. Ah, so I can use this to explain this. Eh, at least let this topic enter my my students, their, their brain and stick there. Okay, so I'm going to give you two, three minutes. I see some people asking for the WhatsApp link. So let me quickly get the WhatsApp link. 
and share. So please, I encourage you to, if you are here and you haven't joined the WhatsApp group, I encourage you to join the WhatsApp group. So let me quickly click on it. I encourage you all to join the WhatsApp group if you haven't. Okay? So I've dropped the WhatsApp link, okay? For those who haven't joined the WhatsApp group. All right, so I've dropped that there. Let me also drop it in the group. So you can still share, still share to others. Okay, that's the WhatsApp group. All right, so back to our simulation, this our simulation. So uh, let me see in the chat box. Okay, I see. Uh, okay, let me not start calling uh, calling out. I see. Okay, uh, Darius says periodic table. Uh, Adiremi says difference between mass number, atomic number, proton number. Great. Okay, who wants to speak? I will just give the floor to like three people to speak. Three chemistry teachers, please kindly speak. What can you use this simulation? What can you? What do you observe? What do you wonder about the simulation? What is going on? Okay, let me know. Anyone? Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. I can hear you, Mr. Jibril. Okay, thank you very much. In fact, yes. I'm very, very grateful. Very, very interesting program. Yes, sir. In fact, this, uh, this area, we can, we can relate it to electronic configuration. Okay. Model, models of atoms. That is the element in the new uh, how to represent representation of an element. So how do you how do you do atom. it? How did you do it? How okay. do you, how do picking, you tell me? Tell the me. proton, the proton, and the electron. Electron will be revolving around the the nucleus. So what should I do? Direct me on what to do. What did you do on your phone? Direct okay. me on what. Okay, I will just pick the electron, uh -huh. put it on the line on the. Moving line, the circle. Okay. Okay. Then it shows the rotation of an electron. Okay. When an electron is moving, then in fact it will be very interesting for the student. Then picking the uh, proton. Okay. I put it on the line. Yes. I should no, put it on the line. Not on the line because electron should be on the line. <laughs> uh huh. Electron will be on the line. Then okay. neutron will be in the nucleus. You said I should pick proton, no? so where is proton staying? Proton will stay in between the... Huh? Hello? Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? Mr. Jubri, are you with me? Can you hear me? Hello? I lost him. Yeah, Mr. Jubri, continue. Okay, who wants to continue? Where will I place the proton? Hello? Hello? Yes, Mr. Jubri, can you hear me? You can I, put the proton. I don't know. Okay, where will I put it? I want someone to speak. Put the Joseph. proton in the nucleus. In the nucleus, okay. So let me... So where is the nucleus now? Where is the nucleus? I think the nucleus is where you circled as X. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you see this now? I'm trying to put a proton here, but what is I'm happening? Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm but I'm, I'm, X. Okay. But hold on one minute. My teachers, can you see this? When I try to put the proton on the orbit, what happens? It doesn't stay. But Mr. Joseph said we should put it what in the nucleus, which is the X, and it stays, right? And what happens? Yeah. He tells us the elements and right but let us, us the elements, uh -huh. okay. so what happens now my chemistry teachers i want you people to take over this simulation before i go to my math people uh -huh. so what happens with the neutrons you also have to put the neutron in the in the x the new, the new okay uh-huh yeah. 
So let me put another neutron again, right? Is anything changing? Right anything? now. Nothing, right? Nothing is changing. You're just adding more neutrons into the nucleus. But what if I now add another proton? Can you see okay. this? The element changes. Okay? Yes, it's moved in the periodic table. Yes, the element is changing in the periodic table. I wasn't okay. paying attention at the other, other block. Are you so the element is changing hey. on your screen. It has moved from it has moved to H E, which is helium. helium. Are you a, are you a chemistry yes. teacher? No, no, not at all. Okay, okay. My chemistry. I want a chemistry teacher here. Please speak. My chemistry people. Hello. Okay, but nevertheless, uh, Mr. Joseph, what? Thank you so much. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Hello, ma'am. Yes, I can hear you, Mr. Samuel. Okay. Why the element change? Why the element change? Because the number of protons is the same thing as the atomic. Two Hello? proton is uh, atomic number two, and helium is atomic number two. So, add. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Add one more proton. Let's see. Okay. That's lithium. Yes. So the uh, number of protons is the same thing as the atomic number of the elements. So the more proton you add the more it changes to the next element. So add one more, it will go to beryllium. Okay. Okay. So that's what I just want to bring out. So from here, you can see, you can also open up this box. That's why we as teachers, we have to be free. Okay. With the simulation, play number. around with it. it Mark number, you will see from, the... Aha, you will see the next charge. Okay. You can even check if it's unstable or stable. Hmm. Yes. Are you seeing that? You can check if it's you unstable. You can see it's very unstable. Uh -huh. Unstable. You, are you with me? So this teaches, you know, when in chemistry, you know when you're introducing that chemistry in SS1, students are confused what proton is, what neutron is. But with this, they know that once proton, the number of proton is the atomic number. The atomic number. Yes, ma'am. Are you with me? And the number of proton and neutron is the mass number. Yes, the mass number. So with this, you know, you have solved your periodic table wahala for my chemistry teachers. Am I lying? Yes, sir. That's true. That's true. You have solved that one, that problem. Okay, so that is the beauty of FET simulation. This is the beauty of FET simulation. So thank you so much, my chemistry people. Please let's wait for our maths people now. My maths people, I'm coming to you. Let us play around. It's quadratic equations. Let me quickly go. Let me share this now. Okay. Oh, I see Mr. Ifa inside. It can also be used to explain isotopes. Great. Great. All right. Uh, we can, ah, to explain nuclear stability and radioactivity. Wow. Mr. James, nice. Okay, good, good, good. Ah, Mr. Joshua, I say you have a lot of questions. Don't worry, you can drop your questions on the group. I need assistance. There's no sound. It should be from your Mr. Mohammed. It should be from your settings. Try to do your settings, your sound settings well. So I have shared a simulation on a quadratic equation. If you've opened it, let me see a thumbs up in the chat box. Just have a few more minutes to go. I, I wanted us to stop 6.30 because of people who are going to pray and all. Okay, good, Mr. Victor. In the next like 10, 15 minutes, we should round up, okay? So, only if Mr. Victor has seen, okay, please, please open up the simulation. Let me share also on the group. Share on the group. I have shared it also on the WhatsApp group. So I want us to play around with the simulation now. So click play.
let's just go to explore. Your math the author must then support with reasons and okay. evidence. My math teachers, are you with me? Let me see a thumbs up. My math teachers, are you with me? Ah, okay. Yes, I'm with you. All right, all right. Okay. Oh, yeah, play. Play around and tell me, tell me. Tell me what you wonder, what you observe, what you can see from this simulation. Hey, why am I touching it? No. Play, play around with it, please. Okay? Because I know, and we know as math teachers, one of the most difficult parts of maths is quadratic equations. Especially we are approaching YEG. If we look at, I would like, should I quickly go? If we look at the examiner's reports, YEG, let me go to YEG. You will see, I don't know if we have checked this. Our examiner's reports. I don't know if you've checked, if we have checked this. Okay. Over the last 10 years in the maths, graphing equation is one of the weaknesses of students. Do my teachers, do you concur? Has it been a weakness for your for your students? Let me see a yes or a no in the chat box. Can I see a maybe? My internet okay. Can you all hear me? Yes, but your screen is not showing the simulation. Okay, okay. But you should open it on your phones. You have to open it on your phones. And I've shared the, the, the link. So you have to open it on your phones. Okay? So open the simulation on your phone. No problem. Now, when you come, I'm not entering inside. Okay. Just let's mute our microphone. Okay, so here it, is, here it is. I've shared the link again. So open it. I want someone to please speak what they observe, what you observe on the simulation. Anybody, please speak. Anybody can unmute and speak what you observe. Um, it's actually easy to navigate because we can insert our um, parameters in any of the options available there. So okay. in order to get our line and our curve. So I think I can also see the um, function on how, for example, if you are to calculate for the root or if you want to calculate, if you want to get the um, vertex. So it is, and I can see that we have um, the zoom, let me see, I call it, I, I, I might even call it hand lens. For us to actually see the um, value on any of the line we want to see there. So it's easy to navigate. So it's easy to navigate and get accurate um, or let me say correct results for the so, for whatever graph we are plotting. So what can you teach? What objectives can you, like what goals can you bring out from this? What can you use this to teach us? Um, we can actually use it to explain quadratic functions and changes in graph of the function. So also we can also use it to um, teach um, parabola. We can use it to teach. Parabola. We can also use it to um, teach um, the symmetry, the roots, and the directions of graph from of quadratic equation. So regarding linear graph, quadratic equation, symmetric equation, regarding to plot a graph, we can use it to um, teach all those subjects. And for even experiment that needs you to plot a graph, we can also use it also in plotting graph regards regarding that. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Any other person? We can also say that. Also say that. Why is and then Mr. Denny, you can speak you can speak up. We can't hear you. Speak up. The value of X determines the value of Y. The value of X determines the value of Y. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Can hear you clearly. But hello, speak? hello, one. Yes, Mr. Paul. Yeah, speak. Yeah, good evening. Yes. Uh, I I joined it during uh, the early around uh, my phone was useful. So not quite long I I started charging it. I joined again. But the the main concerns I open is that it must be exact exact uh, information that is shown on the screen. But from what I can see, from what I can see, why it goes to one point four nine x plus something something something. So that one point four nine actually showing the value of a. A is the coefficient of x squared that determines the direction of the graph. How the graph will face, whether it's going to face like N or it's going to face like U, whether it's frowning or smiling. Now, if your A is less than zero, your graph will be frowning. But if it's, yes, if it's less than zero, yes. but if it is greater than zero, if it is greater than zero, it will be the other way around. Uh -huh. So it's a, it's a very important tool that helps us to know how it goes, yeah. Great. So can you explain to the student when A is negative and when A is positive? Yeah. And also, can you to explain what they call discriminants? When your D is equals to B squared minus 4AC. Okay. So it helps to determine the nature of the root. Whether it's real, whether it's equal, whether it's distinct. Okay. If you watch from from this, I can see that 0 0.56 x squared now is not up to, though it's positive, though it's not up to one. So it will still look like that. your A is not up to, it's positive, but it's not still negative. So it will determine how the curve or the parabola will be formed. So it's a very important um, simulation tool that will help us engage our students for better experiences. Thank you. Great. Uh, great. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, who wants to speak? Who else? Okay. Thank okay. You can more. I speak, please? Yeah. Do you want? Do you want? Please hold on. Let uh, our lady speak. No lady has spoken. Please speak, ma. Okay. Thank okay. you, ma. Actually, um, looking at it, I'm, I want to apologize first that I came late to the class. Um, looking at it, I kind of like how the curve came out you know it's looking so easy yes like what you said uh, most students have challenges drawing the curve and that's because in our uh, conventional school just our government schools we don't really have the tools and they don't have the tools to draw in that curve so most time they make use of the broom and along the line the broom does you know it will break so I kind of like the uh, simulation too because the curve is curvy, and then you can naturally redirect it in any position you want just to show each point. Okay, so that's what I see there, just to show each point. Having explained to them, then it's easy for them to navigate their points using this simulation. So I just want to thank you so much, Ma, for, no for the privilege. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so who else? Who wants to speak? Hello. I think, yes, I can hear Hello. you. I can hear right, you. This, this is Mr. Joshua. Okay, speak on, please. Thank you, ma'am. Um, I can see that um, this simulation is giving us the value of A, B, and C, and of which um, this can be used to solve um, what is it called um. Um, quadratic equation, the formula method. So it's just a matter of substituting, substituting the value of A, B, and C into the equation, into the formula, and then we'll get the various answers. Okay. okay. Great. Thank you. Who else want to speak? Final person? Anybody? Mohammed? Do you want to speak? Um, so sorry, Ma, for interrupting. Please, I don't know how how am I going to how am I going to get this simulation? Uh, yeah, you were you know in the beginning. No, it's, it's I said free. I joined. 
I joined. It's free. It's free. Okay, I'm going to record. Uh, this is recorded, so I would, I would share it. Okay, I will okay, share it so you can you. watch it. You can watch uh, the. It's free on the site. Fed dot Colorado dot edu. Edu. Fed dot Colorado dot edu. Yes. All right. Let me copy and share on the group again. Please, if you are okay. not on the WhatsApp group. Please do join I just join. I just uh -huh. join. You can send it on the chat. Uh, WhatsApp uh -huh. with anyone. Okay, so yeah. let me even copy. Please, if you are not on the WhatsApp group, please do join the WhatsApp group. Let me share the link again. All right, thank you. All right. Okay, let me so share. So with that, I can have access to the simulation. Everything is free. You can download it and work on it offline on your laptop. Okay, okay, okay. amazing. Thank okay, you. and please. Uh, as I said, so I'm rounding up now. All right. I'm rounding up now because of, uh, you know, because of time. Please, so finally, I, I, thank you. Hello. Thank you. Please, yes. ma'am. Yes. 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 I, I know you said I should drop all my questions on the WhatsApp group, but uh, I feel I, I should, can, can I ask yeah. girls to please, I'm more yes. involved in all my painting questions. Yes. Okay. Ask your question now. Hello? Mr. Joshua, you can ask your question. Has he left us? Okay, but uh, let me quickly wrap up then. You can ask any question. All right, so first of all, so this is, we have come to the end. Thank you so much, okay, for joining us in the first uh, uh, series. Hello? Is, yes. Hello? Hello. Hello. Okay, so, so, sorry, ma. So I was asking, I said, please, is it possible for me to get this recording? Yes, of course. I'm going to I'm going to upload it and send it on the okay. group. Yes. Okay. Okay, that, that's one. Um, I remember you said something. That's let me just ask this, this last question. I remember you said something about um uh, presentation, classroom presentation, that um it's so important before we can get our certificates and all of that. So um, I, I want to ask, what about a school that um, um, doing that kind of presentation is not allowed, is not permitted, because they don't even, um, I mean, we don't, um, we don't um, teach the children in terms of um, class, uh, what's it called, um, the, what's it called, um, the, the standing by the board and then explaining to children, teaching children, using the board and all of that. We don't write on the board, so we don't only supervise children because we use the AC curriculum. I don't get your point. You use which curriculum? Yes. Which curriculum? Does the curriculum use digital devices? Do that for me. Do that use digital education devices? Curriculum. Come again? Accelerated Christian education curriculum. Okay. Do they use devices? Uh, Do you use projectors? Do you use multimedia projectors and laptops or any other? This network is not clear. Okay. Okay, please just drop your questions on the group. Okay. I would I would I would answer them. Okay. So please uh, okay, Mr. Victor, you raise your hands. Please quickly speak. Okay, ma. Um particularly concerning the um the platform. I wanted to find out if we could um, it, 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 because it, 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 we may have many. Where did the children? No, we don't. More than one. Sorry. Okay. No. More than um, we want to relate it with our students, probably in class. I think somebody had already previously asked the question, but I just wanted to reiterate it that if we have maybe twenty to thirty students in our class, how do they interact with our platform? Or one teacher's platform can be accessible to more than. Um, or up to that number of students. I just wanted to confirm if it's possible. Maybe I have 20 students in my class. Can that my one platform, my own one login access be accessible to various number of students? No, you are just saying, you, even without registering on the first site, eh, okay. you can download the Sims for free. Your students can download it for free without okay. registering. If you download, okay. you can download on several devices. Let's say your, your school has a computer lab. You can download it on all the computers and maybe put two, two people to a computer, two, two people to a computer for them to work with the simulation. Are you with me? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. 
Yeah. So that's the way it, it works. Okay. Mr. Joshua, I we your network is quite bad. Please drop your message on the uh, WhatsApp group. Okay. And so finally, finally, I let me still go back to this. That please all to get our certificates, all our courses, we are working on Coursera. Okay. So you are the first two things you are mm -hmm. doing this week is introduction yeah. to FED and whole class inquiry. As I said earlier on, please, can you mute your microphones? Can we mute our microphones, please? As I said earlier on, from the beginning, hey, please, can you, can you switch, uh, mute your microphone? Okay. Okay. So you would receive, if you can see my, my email, you will receive four emails. Introduction to FET, whole class with FET, activity design, implementation. Please go into it. Click on join group. If you have not been on Coursera platform before, it will tell you to register. Please register, create your password using your email, the email that you use to register for this program, this workshop. Use it, join it. Then when you do, when you've joined for this, come to the other three courses, enter it and join at once, immediately. Don't wait, enter it and join. So this, why you have to join the Coursera, please, this is because this is what I'm going to do, I know. I've run workshop for over 1,500 teachers, and this is the major issue. Please, I beg you, join from the email that we sent to you. Because if you go to the, to, if you join from Coursera website, it will be asking you to pay money. And that money is $69. $69 is about 70,000 Naira here in Nigeria. But FET has made this thing for people outside abroad, they pay that money, but for Africans, it is free. So that's why you register and it is this link. We invite you. The university is inviting you themselves. So it is free of charge for you. So please do make sure you join from your emails. I beg you. Very important and very key. If you want a smooth transition to getting your certificates, when you are done with the first course, you will get your certificate. When you are done with the second, you get your certificate. When you are done with the third, you get. When you are done with the fourth, you get. Then you will now get a final fifth certificate from us, DTW Foundation and the FET University of Colorado. Okay, that's the final one that shows that you have finished. This is like a 44 hours, 45 hour program. All right, that's why you can Hello. see. Please, can Hello. you be patient? Can you be patient, please? Let me quickly speak. I'm, I'm coming. You you asked your question. One minute. Okay, so which is, which will show that you are done. So this week, your first two assignments is introduction to FET simulation and whole class with FET simulation. That's what you are working on this week. You can always drop your questions on the WhatsApp group. I'm going to leave, I think I've left the link of the WhatsApp group. Make sure you are on the WhatsApp group so you can ask your questions, okay? And I'm going to be giving you some other resources on the WhatsApp group and guides. Any question you ask. Please, one minute, Mr. Rahim. Okay. Please, on Coursera, the first course we do now is the introduction to FET simulation, right? Yes. What and, about the whole class? And uh, whole class, both pet, of them. Both of them. Yes, both of them. Okay. If you finish, if you can finish it within two days, you can move on to the next. There's no limitation on your speed. It all depends on you. But we know that for normal, you know, because of time, you have other things you are doing. These two course will be okay for a week. But if you can finish it, go to activity design. And go to implementation fine you can move ahead all right so thank you so much everyone for staying with us so your first two work on Coursera is introduction and whole class and next week we're going to meet to discuss activity design please if you have any question yes mrs olu wabumi alabi can you unmute and speak hello ma good, good yeah. afternoon thank you for this Hello. Sorry, I'm only wabumi Arabi and I'm asked to speak. Okay, please speak. Good afternoon. Yes. yes, good afternoon. Good, good, good afternoon. I, can I hear joined you. this course last year, I think around November, October. The workshop we had around November, October. 
and I was not able to finish it, but I, I, I actually did. The deadline you gave us was January 31st. I did them, I submitted my assignment, but I was not able to go back to review if my assignment was graded or not. So that was why I joined back now. And I've received the mail. Then when I log into my activity design and um, implementation, mm. it was saying that I should um, join for seven days. Like, I, I think it is no longer free for me. I could access the um, old class, but for the activity and implementation, so it's like I should join the seven days free trial. So it's no longer free for me. Did you join from your email? Can you can you yeah. uh, drop your message on the group? I will attend to it now because we want to yeah. stop. Okay. Okay. Because yeah, yeah. you yours is more you, you have joined before, so we have to check. We have to navigate a way on how to you know for you to be joined added to this class. Okay. All right, ma. Thank you. All right. You ask what exactly you are to do. Okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Sunday. Yes. Good question. Yeah, an assignment. One minute, Mr. Mr. Sunday. Yeah, thank you so much for that question. I was just expecting you to just enter and you know, but it's not uh, it's not like that. Oh, sorry. I was, I'm just thinking everybody should be familiar with Coursera. Let me quickly ask, enter Coursera. All right. Mm. What do I do? Mm. Okay, so when you enter into your course, is everyone seeing the screen now? Okay, when you log in, like for introduction, this is the way Coursera looks like. Okay, you read, it's a lot of reading, uh, some videos, you go through, this is a reading brief introduction, you go through this, the website or another video, another reading, playing with sim, reading. So it's like an online LMS platform, learning. Okay, are you with, are you guys with me? You go through this, this, then here, yes, then here you have your assignment. You will see where your assignment is. Okay. Yeah. So you when you click on it, it will show you what you are to do. Okay. All right. It's okay. going to show you what oh. you are to do. All right, okay. and it's always it's always going to give you a template. We make this easier for you, so it will give you a template that you would use. Okay, to work on your own. All, All right. right. All right. So this, and when you are done, that's what we call peer review. Peer review, review your peers. You have to go and review about three of other participants on the course. All right, reviewing okay. their work, meaning you are marking. It's like you are marking. Others will mark you, and three people will mark you. You will mark three people. And the best thing okay. about this is the three people can never get it wrong. If you do, if you didn't do it well, they would mark sure. it wrong. Are you with me? Three people can never mark you wrong. Okay? That's right. That's... So, please, so you will review three people, and three other people will review you. So, it's like a group. We are working all together as as checking our work as teachers and STEM educators. So this is how okay. you are going to see everything arranged. So you just follow it through, okay? When you are done with introduction, you see the the assignment. You go into it, then you are going to see um, your peer review. You do your peer review. When you are done, then you go to whole class, um, whole class with FET course and all that. So this is how the platform is. Thank you so much for that question, Mr. Sunday. Yes, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All right. You're welcome. Okay. Well, no, no, no. So we're going to we're going to start thank you, three minutes to seven. Please, I don't I would I don't want to keep us here. Okay, Mr. Latif, every question, please let's direct them.
them to the, the, the WhatsApp group is open. Please, the WhatsApp group is only meant for pets. Please, no sharing, no spamming the group, okay? So ask your questions there. I'm going to put the video recording by God's grace by tomorrow. The video recording of this today's workshop uh, uh, series will be there. The link I will share. So thank you so much. All right. And I want us in the chat box. I want us in the chat box to, uh, you need to give me an exit ticket. What is my exit ticket? My exit ticket is mention one thing you love about pet simulation. Let me see. One thing you love about pet simulation. And do you think it's going to help your learners? Let me see. Oh, nice collaboration. Good. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. You must drop something before you leave. Drop an exit ticket before you leave. It is engaging. Good. It is flexible. Nice. It's simplicity. Nice. Nice. It is great, Mr. Tijani. Oh, uh, okay. Christy say exploration. So they say it's so fun and easy to understand. Okay. Uh, tell him. Tehemba said it's flexible. I see. Uh, I see. Adamu says engaging, interactive, interaction. It will help the learner. It's interactive, Mr. Daniel. Uh, manga is teacher. Good teacher and student interactive, cooperative. It will arouse, it will arouse the uh, interest of learners. Wonderful, 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 wonderful feedback. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, great. Lena's centered. Nice. Which one is a huge relief. <laughs> I like this by Cynthia. Good. Make learning interesting. Ah, I've dropped the this link. Oh, it is interactive and exciting. It generates curiosity, relatable, user-friendly. Nice, nice. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. We have come to the end of today's workshop. Oh, six nine sorry. people still connected. Thank you, thank you for taking our time, uh, my dear STEM educators, for staying with, on with this. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing now, and I'm going to say bye from my end. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye, and bye. have a good evening. Bye, Love bye. You. Thank you so much. Bye. I bye. appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Thank you.